Hey Stampers, it's Maggie from ilovepapercrafts.com. I'm here today with a really fun project. I'm going to show you how to make colored bottle caps. So we're going to turn this into this. You can do this with any of your embossing powders and your heat tool. And wait, it's just such a, oh, I love it. I'm so excited about this project. It might be one of my most favorite projects I've ever done. As soon as I figured out how to do this earlier today, I'm like addicted. Look, look at my addiction. I got blue bottle caps, red bottle caps, orange, black sparkly bottle caps. Just plain sparkly bottle caps. Any embossing powder you can use. Now I'm going to give you a couple tips for this. You want to flatten your bottle cap first and then to actually do the project let me show you how to actually alter the color. Okay so to alter the color what you're going to do is you're going to take your Versamark pad, you're going to take it face down which is the part we want to cut. We're just going to press it down there really hard. So just make sure your Versamark pad and if you don't know, not familiar with Versamark it's just a clear watermark ink we use a lot for and it's just the same one we use for heat embossing. So you're just going to pull that out and it's going to be all goopy. Now what you're going to do is take your embossing powder and I'm literally just going to throw mine in there. And to make sure it's really well coated, you could also do this with a spoon but I like to shake it around for this one. And then we're just going to fish it out and we're going to tap off the excess. Now for this we don't really need any on the back so you can brush it off. You could also use a little brush if you don't like getting your fingers dirty. And then Make sure all your edges are covered. And now we have the bottle cap covered with heat embossing powder, which is Melon Mambo. And we are going to take our heat tool and get this done. And you'll see it goes really fast. So now I've zoomed in the bottle cap and you can see just around the very, very edges it's not done. Now that is not going to matter if you're going to use a punch shape to put in the middle. But if you wanted to go back and fix this up, you just take your blender pen and a little bit of Versamark, cover it up, and then more heat embossing powder, you'll be good to go. So here's the finished product. Doesn't it? It's so cute. So, I mean, look at all the options. Look at all those bottle cap options. So have fun altering your bottle caps. Uh, definitely feel free to comment if you want to see more videos like this about simple stamping secrets and things you can do with all the wonderful products that Stampin' Up! sells. You can hit subscribe below the video. Below. Can't really see my finger well. Below. And uh, thanks for checking it out. Take care. Bye.